Today is the first day that these cats are gonna be released upon the farm. So several weeks ago, we started training the kittens to live in the barn. Yes, we had to lock them up for weeks on end. They didn't like it, but it had to be done. And I'm confident that these two kittens are ready to be promoted to full-time barn cats at the farm. How you doing guys? Chad here. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. And thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm! I've been barn training them for, well, it's pretty well close to two months, which is far more time than you need. I don't recommend two months, but these two cats were living with us in our house for the first months of their life. So I really wanted to give them a chance to acclimate to the barn. You know, I didn't want them thinking, okay, the house is my house and they left me in the barn, so I'm gonna run home. I didn't want that. So we kept them there, really extra time. Oh, his claws are so deep. Just sitting here minding my own business and he jumps up on me like, holy smokes. He's pushing my neck down. What are you doing, Smoke? You're gonna have a nap right there. That's not cool, man. I'm gonna be moving in a minute. I'm just taking a break. I'm sweating. After I set up their entrance to the barn, I quickly showed the cats how to get up in and out of there, and they learned it instantly. I'm seriously worried about these cats, leaving them all alone in the barn. Although I'm seriously worried about these cats being loose on the farm, I mean, there's predators out there, there's th creepy crawly things at night, like who knows? But one thing that does make me feel better is that these two cats have each other. They have each other to lean on, to comfort one another, to cuddle, to keep warm. They sure do like to get into some trouble, but at least they do that together too. They're always sticking together, these two. 
They're like two peas in a pot. I love these two cats. Hey, got a bigger basket because I haven't checked the eggs in a couple days. Well, I checked them. I just didn't pick up the eggs. So I'm sure there's a ton of eggs in there. I think Molly's coming behind me. Molly, are you coming to the duck house? Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's check on these little goslings too, eh? Oh my god, guys, these goslings are huge! Huge! Look at them! They're the size of ducks! Look at these cute guys. <laughs> oh, they smell. They smell. Oh, they smell a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of an odor. Molly, leave the goslings alone. I can't believe how huge they are. They're a little bit more docile than ducks. A little bit. Like if I, you know, interact with them regularly, maybe they'll be less freaked out the way ducks are, because ducks are a different breed. These guys are just kind of sitting here keeping me company. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing, buddy? For their first night, I decided to set up a trail camera to see the happenings and I set up one on the inside focused on their house and one on the outside focused on their entrance to the barn. It's so funny I think these two cats didn't sleep all night long. They're just playing, frolicking, jumping around, going in and out of the barn. I think they didn't know what to make of it. They didn't know what to do. It's so funny to watch. You can see the little mouse that they found on their first night. Can you believe that they've already found a mouse on their first night free at the farm? You can actually see Stormy take it away in her mouth. Hey guys, I'm out here in the back of the barn, eh? I made this little, this little way for the cats to get up to that window. Over here, I made a way for them to get up in there so they can go in and out of the barn, eh? Because I don't leave the door open because I got chickens in there. Anyways, the cats are here with me. <laughs> They're keeping me company. But I got some evidence, guys, of them earning their keep at the farm. Take a quick look. Isn't that awesome, guys? That's so awesome that they're already starting to earn their keep at the farm. They're training real good. I'm happy about that, you know, they're going to be keeping all our rodent population at bay. Even early in the morning, these two cats weren't sleeping. They're just enjoying the beautiful sunrise at the farm, enjoying each other's company. These two cats are so sweet with one another. It looks like true love. Hope we get some kittens out of them. Molly, you're getting all dirty. Come down. Hey, look 
at your face. It's all mud. I totally hear turkeys. Totally. I can hear the gobbles. I can hear them, guys. I don't know where they are. I think maybe they might be in the field. I'm going to see if I can get a better look. This is stupid. But I want to see them. I want to see the turkeys. Oh, yeah. It's loud. Loud, guys. You can hear the gobbles. Oh, my God. They're right here. Guys, they're right here. Right here. I can see the males have the fantails out. Holy shnikes. I wasn't really doing any filming right now, guys. I was just uh, watering the garden. So I just have my phone. And I mean, that's as best as a shot as I can get. But man, they're beautiful creatures. I love turkeys. I hope one day I can have turkeys on the farm, even just a couple as pets, you know? It's beautiful. And they're so loud. And the sound they make is like awesome. They're all walking towards the woods now, so maybe they smell me. I smell pretty good. I don't have any BO or anything. These guys are awesome. The cats are freaked out, eh? Every time they gobble, I can see the cats going like this because they don't know what that sound is. <laughs> this, I like to show you guys these things because it's so cool. If I find it so awesome, I'm sure you guys do too, eh? Anyways, okay, let me get back to it. It's time for these cats to earn their keep at the farm. Today, they're being promoted to the full-time staff here at the farm. Look at her, she just loves me so much. I love her too though. She's amazing. She's an amazing cat. Yeah, they're being promoted to full-time barn cats. They're no longer barn kittens in training. They got their promotion. Look, Stormy's gonna fall asleep right here. Hey, I'm talking to you guys and she's just gonna fall asleep. Stormy, I got work to do. I got work to do. I got to work on my chicken house. <laughs> Look at this fat chungus. Look at him. Do you remember just how many months ago we brought this guy home? He was so tiny, a little kitten. Look at him. He's bigger than Stormy now. Look at him. Look at the size of this cat. <laughs> I must say, these two cats did an amazing job on their first night on the farm. They caught a mouse on their first night. That's great. But I have noticed that they are a little sleepy during the day. So that's quite funny. Don't forget to click that subscribe. Pound that like, guys, if you enjoyed this video. And there's going to be plenty more barn cat adventures here at the Hidden Spring Farm.